We are instructed to meditate upon the Word of God because whatever we meditate upon is going to take us into the future that He wants us to possess. Now follow this because we see a father's heart. A father's heart is to instruct. I'm talking about a true father. A true father's heart is to instruct and to teach from a place of love to to be able to, to protect their children from some of the things that they've already experienced or walked through. How many of you know a, a father's true heart, a, a father who has a true heart, wants their ceiling to become their children's floor? We want them to go further than we've ever been before. So instruction is important. We need people who will teach us, people who will speak to us, because the instructions that you follow will determine the future that you'll possess. If you're taking notes, write that down. The instructions that you follow will determine the future that you'll possess. So we need the Father's instruction. Now listen, he talks here about wisdom, that we need wisdom. We need to incline our ear to wisdom and get understanding. Understand this, Jesus is called the wisdom of God. So we're not looking for a corrupted wisdom, which is a fallen wisdom. We're looking for the wisdom of God, which is found in Jesus Christ. The wisdom of God is found in the face of Jesus Christ. Remember this, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Well, who is the word? It's Jesus. So Jesus is the light who's lighting the way before me, and it's his precepts, it's his instructions. It is his spirit leading me, guiding me, and directing me into all truth. What I see today is I see a lot of people who want their own way because they, they want to stay in their way of life. And anything that challenges their way of life, they reject. If it confronts my way of thinking, then I don't want to hear it because I want to live in the world that I've created. But have you ever thought that God wants to bring you out of the world that you've created by your own thoughts and by your corrupted wisdom, and he wants to bring you into true wisdom where you can see the world in the way he sees it so that you can be who he's called you to be and do what he's called and purpose for you to do? So the instructions that you follow, it's very important what voice you're listening to. How many of you know there are voices, there are many voices that are speaking? Can I just tell you today, be very transparent with you, it is harder to be a pastor today than I think it's ever been before. It is harder to be a pastor than a shepherd, and it's always been hard. But I'm finding it even harder in 2021 to pastor and shepherd people. Do you know why? Because there's so many other ways for people to find voices that kind of tickle their fancy and are speaking to what they want and what they desire. And so people are finding voices, and there's so many voices out there that they can find. So I might be teaching one thing, and you might hear it, but then you might go out and find a voice that's saying something else. And it's like we're hearing all these different voices, and we don't know what to believe. So what do we need? We need the anointed voice of the Spirit, Jesus all truth is found in Jesus, and we need those that are speaking not their own will or their own desires or their own agendas. I find a lot of people in the church today, forget about the world, we know they're carnal. I find a lot of people in the church today that are very carnal when God is wanting to bring us out of the world, separate from the world, and he's wanting to bring us into the kingdom, his kingdom to be able to manifest who he is to the people who are in this world. But I can't do that thinking like the world thinks. And so if I follow the instructions of the world, I'll have what the world has. The voices that I'm following are determining what my future is going to look like. Now, watch this also. The voices that I allow. How many of you know you do, there are voices you don't have to allow the voice? Let, let me also say this. We all have thoughts. But you don't have to allow every thought. Just because you thought it doesn't mean it's you. And so the Bible says casting down every imagination, every thought, everything that tries to come and exalt itself against the knowledge of God. Well, where is the knowledge of God found? It's found in Jesus. Jesus. 